Welcome to Building the Food Truck. Good old Huckleberry. Whee! That's right. So, you have seen us pull it out of the woods and bring it to our house and strip the inside and um, put up the insulation, put the plywood up, and now we are putting the laminate up. And, boy oh boy, has it been a challenge. So, we try to do some YouTube research ourselves because we've never really done the laminate. So, first struggle was, and fear was, it, how to cut it. If you don't know what laminate is, I mean, it's like paper thin. So, it's the stuff that you can build your own countertops out of. Okay guys, so what we're using to cut the laminate with is a 60 tooth carbide tipped blade. And what you want to do is make sure that you tape the face of it, otherwise it will chip really bad. Another thing, safety glasses, I know, I know, I don't usually wear them either, but with this stuff, the way you can see the little, the little specks of plastic that it, that whenever it cuts, the stuff flies everywhere and I've, I've been beating the wife up with it, stuff flying everywhere. Trying to make as little as seams as possible so we were doing like a 5 foot by 11 foot stretch and... So we did our research and we thought that, um, well like he said, to make less seams that we would start at the top of the ceiling and then that way there would only be a seam in the bottom but most of the equipment would cover that seam so you would never even see it. So we thought that was going to be a great idea. We like devised a plan and we put a board around the bottom and well there's video of that and we had this great big piece and we had to build this framing and put it up there and the first attempt we used the um, concrete stuff. What's it? Contact cement. Okay. Con contact cement. It's 3M. It's super strong um, which is great because I don't think it's ever going to come off the wall. It's not going to move. But on the downside, we didn't get it 100% perfectly square, and we ended up with a bubble. So I'll show you the ugly bubble. Yeah. Ugh. It was actually a big bubble all the way down. And you can still see some of it right here. How exactly we're going to fix that, I don't know. But removing it would probably be a greater pain in the rear. So that was the first type of adhesive that we used. An expensive mistake. Yeah, a very, very expensive mistake. <laughs> it was liquid nails. It worked out fairly well. Uh, you can kind of feel there's some humps in it where it wouldn't roll out quite well. And then we were told by somebody who does construction work to use floor glue. Floors <laughs> are really, they suck. It's okay because I can put a piece of trim on it, but it, it, that's, that's a strike too. And we did this wall, this wall, and this wall with the flooring cement. Something else because the flooring cement wasn't working very well, but this wall and these bottom pieces down here were done with Loctite Power Grab. <laughs> quickly but you still have a couple of minutes seconds that you can position it around if you need to fix any errors for not getting it up straight but this is actually a new product and they um, you can get it in a gallon bucket Lowe's didn't have it in a gallon bucket so we just went with the tubes and actually this is working out the best out of anything that we've used so far the, the corners are are nice and tight you know, there's no bubbles, everything looks good. Um, it's rated for like negative 40 to 110 degrees.